Well, let's start with the Big Dipper. Where is the Big Dipper? Up there. Up there. There we go, right there. We are going to start. We have the four points of the pot. One, two, three, four. We then have the handle. Here's the handle. And there's our Big Dipper. Take the last two stars. We're going to go five times that distance to find the North Star. There's the North Star. Is it the brightest one? No. No, not very bright. North Star Polaris makes up the Little Dipper. The Little Dipper, the handle is crooked. So it comes up and there's the pot. It always looks like one dipper is pouring into the other one. All the stars will appear to circle Polaris. So through the course of the night, these stars are going to go this way, around Polaris. Go back to the Big Dipper. Notice that the Big Dipper becomes a great sight. If you can find that, you can find a lot of other constellations. I'm going to take the handle of the Big Dipper, and I'm going to follow a real simple saying, follow the arc to Arcturus. The Arcturus is the bright star right there. Arcturus is part of a constellation called Boates. Boates is the, the herdsman. And Boates, let's see here, he comes up like this. Next to the Little Dipper, we can jump over to the giant W in the sky. Queen Cassiopeia. One more circumpolar constellation. He has to see Draco the Dragon. If you can find the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper, Draco cuts right between them. What I look for is I'm going to look straight up and look for four stars that make a kite. Those are the eyeballs. Draco comes down, up, and around right through it. All of these constellations can be seen any night of the year.